Hey Spice Squad, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nayel. Press that red subscribe button down below and press the bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. Okay, y'all, so this video might be a little late in the season, but they don't call it fashionably late for nothing, right? So, like, you can be late with the fashion or you're, like, late because you were getting, like, fashionable. <laughs> Whatever. So, today I am here with you guys to just show you must-have pieces that you need for the fall. We are like in the middle of fall, I guess. Like we're like kind of in fall, like as we speak. And some of us are still gathering our fall essentials. And some of us need to know what must we have for fall? Like what do we need to have fashionably to be popping and in with the style and what's going on right now? So I am going to show you guys. I have modeled and put on some pieces for you guys to show you what I believe is essential for the fall or what I need for the fall and what I think that I need every year, what I might need to get fresh or what I might need to get new every year or something that you can keep for a while and it's like never goes out of style. So you can agree to disagree, we all have our own opinions, but I'm just gonna show y'all some stuff and some pieces that I have that I needed to have because it was a must have for this fall season, okay? So first, we're gonna start with a denim jean dress. Okay y'all, so this denim jean dress is Tommy Hilfiger and I've had it for years yes years like with an s plural not for just two three four like i've had it for a while thank god it still fits but i think this is something that will never go out of style denim is always a signature piece you should have in your closet whether it's a jean jumper a denim dress a denim one piece i have multiple denim pieces that i think one you can wear almost any season like denim is always in so you can never go wrong with a denim dress so i think this denim dress is definitely giving me fall vibes it's a long sleeve i did roll it up at the ends and i have a turtleneck which you, i have on now i have my turtleneck under it for a little like a more brisk fall day i did pair it with a belt it did come with a denim belt so you can wear that denim belt and tie it or you, or you can add your own belt and just you know give it your own little style and give it your own little flavor i also paired it with you see my knee high boots the camel color i love camel i think that knee high boots these camel color boots are definitely an essential for the fall because one we wear nudes all through fall we wear nudes and earth tones and these camel color boots can go with almost any fall color that you want to pair it with and I also have on the knee-high socks with them which are cream I love knee-high socks you'll also see another video where I have on some black ones with me modeling them but I have like a multiple color pairs of knee-high socks that I think are very essential for the fall so fall is kind of weird it can be warm some days it can be brisky some days it can be windy so when you want to wear your legs out but it's still it's, it's kind of a little chilly out you put on a knee-high sock with a boot or even a booty to kind of cover up your skin but showing the little skin but just perfect for the fall because fall gives us that weird weather but I think that's why we all love to dress for the fall because we can play with our clothes we can wear skirts and dresses we can wear sweaters hoodies we can wear jeans uh sweats pants like you can wear almost any item in your closet in the fall depending on how the weather goes okay so i showed you guys like one two three four like four or five pieces the boots the socks the belt the jean the jean dress and the turtleneck and i'll keep this turtleneck on the whole time yeah i'm just like i don't know where i am <laughs> essential piece period so the next essential items i want to show you is ta-da so i have on like this extra extended long carnigan that is short sleeve but it has fur inside and it has a hood this is definitely a fall piece i think carnigans that have no sleeves are definitely essential for the fall for the fall because like i said the weather is so bipolar that it changes goes up and down so you could wear like a long carnigan sweater with a skirt and have your legs out with some boots or you can wear it how i wore it i have like a long sleeve turtleneck shirt or you can wear a long sleeve shirt kind of have like a v-neck if you want some skinny jeans and some booties or you know you can mix it up however you want but i just think that sleeveless carnigans are definitely an essential for the fall because they're kind of the like best time to wear them when it makes the most sense because one you can't wear a carnigan like this in the summer it's too hot you can't wear it in the winter because it's too cold you want to have something on your arm so the fall season is definitely the perfect time for these sleeveless carnigans okay 
Y'all know this is my favorite. It's my hat. I love hats, y'all. I love hats. And it's so hard to kind of wear them in the summer depending on what kind of hat it is. Like, especially if you're not on vacation, you can't wear the big sun ones. I love wearing hats. Like, I love hats. So this is one of my favorite hats that I'm wearing. Um, it's giving me like that sailor type of hat vibe. And I think hats are essential for the fall, period, because it gets windy. Uh, you don't really know what you're doing with your hair. So get y'all some cute hats. And this one is a pattern one. So so fall is all about the patterns and all about the colors. So this is a perfect hat for the fall. I think it's definitely essential to have some type of cute hat to just mix up your style, throw it in with anything, and just make it work, okay? All right. And booties of all colors are needed in the fall because they are low enough that you're not getting too hot, but you can wear little booties with anything. And like I said, you can pair up your knee highs with them. You can wear them with skirts. You can wear them with dresses. You can wear them with jeans. I have them on with some dark denim skinny jeans right now. Booties are it. Like, I feel like I always have to get a fresh pair of booties in the fall. Not of these olive green ones you see right now, but of my black ones. Because I wear my black booties out because I wear them to any occasion. You can wear them to work, which I do. You can wear them out with friends, which I do. To eat, to church, which I do. Walking around, which I do. Because the booties, their heels are not so high that they hurt your foot but they give you enough class so it's kind of like you're dressing something up without doing too much essential okay all right so this next piece you guys see is a long pea coat y'all see the color right i'm telling y'all nude is the thing like the earth tones is the thing for the fall you need a pea coat you need a long pea coat so especially for when you're wearing dresses, you're wearing skirts, if you're going somewhere that's business cash, if you want to make something that's kind of dressed down, kind of dress it up, the Pico is perfect. So I feel like Picos, and they have all types of Picos. They have light ones, they have heavy ones, but like a cute dressy one may not be thick enough for the winter, but it's perfect for the fall because this is when you have on your different layers and this is when you can wear it over just like a plain turtleneck and bring some style to your outfit. And also you don't want to have on a regular bubble coat and you have on a skirt and some style and some booties like that just don't that's just not it like that's not fashionable that's just like you needed a coat you didn't have a coat that went with your like dress up sophisticated outfit so you had to just do what you had in the closet invest in a nice pico so i have like this tan one i have a black one and i also have a gray one and i have like a rain resistant pico as well because you got to be prepared for the weather so i think peacoats are also top five essential along with like the booties and the boots and the hats and just everything like top 10 <laughs> definitely essential so get you guys one i love this pico this is actually from um john nice i think i'm saying it right or closet envy i love this pico definitely happy i invested in it they can be expensive especially for quality ones so check out black friday sales check out sales that are close to christmas like close the closer you get to christmas like the sales get even better than black friday like believe it or not so check them out invest in one because you cannot go wrong with a uh, long pico okay the next has become one of my favorite essentials that is newer to my closet than the other things that you guys have seen this sherpa jacket is it honey like again the creamish color those are my colors y'all you can tell but i love me a good sherpa and this is a sherpa jacket that zips up zips down and it's so 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 warm so you know on the fall days how it can be warmer in the daytime but at night it can get brisk it can get cold and feel like a winter night this sherpa is perfect for that so they have sherpas that come in all types of size mine is kind of scrunchy at the bottom but they have some that are like just straight down and loose so depending on what you're going for you guys have also seen me do videos with sherpas that are kind of like hoodies or just like the half zip right here this is a jacket so i think the jacket is definitely essential and definitely something you should have for the fall because of those nights that i said are cold really cold at night but it can be you know in the daytime, a little warm, feel like a good like 65 degree day where you don't really need a jacket, but at night that Sherpa can come in handy and it's also fashionable. All right, my next couple of pieces. So you guys can see that this is a leather skirt or a plug skirt. Uh, this is, you know, not animal cruelty. We have on a fake leather skirt that I got from, from Forever 21. And I think this is like a perfect item for fall because you can wear a skirt because it's still not too cold outside it's leather or pleather so it has some warmth 
to it. And then check out the socks. You know, I have my knee high socks on, but I have them scrunched down right here with this outfit. And I have on my Doc Martin boots, essential honey. So I just named three products. Let's go back to the skirt. So the skirt, like I said, is perfect for those days where it's a little mild, but maybe you're hanging out a little longer. You're going to be out a little later, like with the shirt, but it has a little warmth to it because of the material that it is. So it's perfect for the fall. It may be too cold for the winter and too hot to be wearing in the summer. So fall is the perfect time to pull out this pleather leather skirt and make it do what it do. I have on the Doc Martin boots. I think they're super essential. I got these last year. Uh, they were definitely trending at the time and I think they're still trendy right now. I really enjoy these boots because you can dress these up as well or dress them down or they can definitely make your girly outfit a little b-boyish, a little street, a little more urban. So you can see this outfit could have definitely went super dressy. I could have put some heels on with this and really made it real like chick but i think i definitely dressed it down and b-boyed it with these doc martens and with the socks being scrunchy and, and scrunching them down more towards my ankle than pulling them up towards my knee and i like those socks with it because it's kind of keeping me warm down bottom since i have a lot of leg exposed but then i have that pleather leather skirt so that's giving me a little warmth too so i'm not too cold but i'm just perfect for the weather okay and y'all see, I threw on a little hat. I love me a hat. Um, just to add some color to it and add some more style to it. And also matches the Doc Martens. Just to bring that color out a little bit and kind of bring the outfit all together. Okay, y'all. Last but not least. And I wouldn't have thought I would have paired this with this outfit. But when I took it out and put it next to it, I was like, that could be really cute with it. So, I added one of my favorite 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 jean jackets to this outfit yes look at it so the jean jacket with the, with the little sheep lining on the inside i got this jacket last year and you guys seen um in my last fashion overhaul that i got that black corduroy jacket that also has like that white sheep skin fur inside oh my god they're the best jackets guys they're the best for a lightweight jacket that when it's not too hot, it's not too cold, but like you just need something to kind of cover up with and just another layer on, it's perfect. I'm telling you, it's that fall weather that gets you all whacked out and you need essential pieces that work with the weather. The mildest kind of tone in the daytime, but the little cooler, brisker weather at the nighttime. This jacket is perfect for that. And you see, like I said, like I definitely brought this, dressed this outfit down and made it b-boyish, urbanish, streetish. And and less like classy, clueless vibes. More of like street, down to earth, urban vibes. We about to go walk around in town. We're going downtown. We bar hopping or we doing whatever. So like I ha I'm comfortable enough so that if it gets cold, I'm cool. If we walk in a lot, I'm also cool. My feet aren't going to kill me. So yeah, this jacket is super essential, guys. Get you a jean jacket that has that fur like in the collar and the inside. It's going to be a little, probably a little harder to find it at this time because this is when it's super popular. I got this jean jacket last year, like late winter when uh it wasn't as popular at the time because like i said they're super popular in the fall so if you can find you one get you one you won't regret it it's like a great purchase and it's not super expensive but invest your money in it it's kind of like fits me a little oversized i could have like i didn't want it tight i wanted it oversized because i wanted to wear it over shirts and like in the fall um early winter stages so that it could keep me warm but also be super cute and fashionable where i don't have to put on like a big bubble coat or a big coat that i have to zip up and it's taken away from the outfit you always want to show your outfit show your fall teens out and you know let them see the details and this jacket definitely still gives you detail without like draining and washing out your outfit i believe anyway like it has the denim and then it has a sheep fur so it's just giving you like texture patterns and style okay Okay guys, so this was my fashion fall essentials video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys either have some of those fall pieces already or you're thinking about getting some of those fall pieces so that you can be ready for the fall and finish your fall out right and that's on period mamas. Uh, I did forget one item that's super, super trendy this year, and I do have a pair, but I just didn't put them on with any of my outfits because I definitely wanted to show off the Dark, Doc Martens, combat boots. I'll insert a picture right here. Combo boots are definitely in this year, so if you don't have you some, get you some. They're super popular. Check Zara, Steve Madden. Um, there are like some designer ones, like Prada. They have some super cute ones, but they're out of stock everywhere, and they're a bit much, but you can get you some that look just like them from Zara's, um, um, check Miss Guided, Nasty Gal, 
I got mine. Mine's are Steve Madden I got from Nordstrom. So check Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. Get you some black combat boots because they're definitely in this year. They're definitely trendy. And I'm sure they'll be in next year as well. So, I mean, I got mine last year, the end of the season last year. And check it out. They popping this year. <laughs> all right y'all if you have any questions any suggestions comment down below if you like something if you didn't like something if you think i should have switched something up or if there's something i forgot to add to my fall essentials let me know i know there's stuff i left out you know what else i left out flannels flannels are definitely like fall vibes for real i'll insert a picture right here flannels are definitely it i love to wrap them around my waist with a cute shirt or to put them on like i wore flannel when i went to the pumpkin patch there was the red and black pattern one i also insert a picture right here get you some flannels they're definitely and you can never go wrong with the flannel during the fall season so i hope you guys can get some of these fall items like i said sport them at your thanksgiving gathering so i know some people are like i'm wearing pajamas and sweats and i'm chilling on thanksgiving like i'm not about to get dressed to go into the living room but then there's the kardashians of the family where you walk in dressed so impressed and yes i'm in here with my fur coat my combat boots and my hat and i'm gonna sit here cute and eat my food period and it's okay you can be the chill cousin or you can be the kardashian cousin whatever cousin you want to be make it fashionable okay all right, guys, love y'all so much. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and your bell notifications are on because Vlogmas is right around the corner. And I have a special treat for you guys. I've really been putting a lot into this and I just can't wait to show you guys some surprises. <laughs> yeah, I'm done hype. Anyways, remember to be the light wherever you go because wherever you go, the light shall fall. Love you guys so much.